Mr. Justice M. M. Sundaresh has graciously consented to preside over today's program. Just to give a few words of introduction about His Lordship. His Lordship was a student of town school and municipal high school E Road and went on to be graduated from Loyola College in the year 1982 with history as a specialization. His Lordship then completed his BL degree at Madras Law College. His Lordship was enrolled as an advocate in the year 1985 and worked as a government advocate between 1991 to 1996. His Lordship's precise presentation of fa cases on facts and law were well appreciated by both the bench and the bar during his days at practice. His Lordship was the counsel for Tamil Nadu Small Scale Industries Development Corporation and has also had extensive practice in civil, criminal and writ side before the Honorable High Court. His Lordship is very learned in law and has also gained a lot of experience from the chambers of the illustrious seniors such as Mr. S. Siva Subramaniam, who later became a judge of the High Court and also from his father, Mr. Thiru V. K. Muthuswamy, Senior Advocate. His Lordship was then appointed as a member of the Monitoring Committee to oversee the establishment of reverse osmosis system to the dying units of Tirupur, Karur and Erod district by the Honorable High Court. His Lordship was appointed as an additional judge of Madras High Court on 31-3-2009 and was later elevated as a permanent judge of the Madras High Court on 29-3-2011. His Lordship is very familiar among students and has also addressed several gatherings and delivered lectures to different students such as the ones at the Government Law College, the Madras University and so on. It is now my pleasure to invite His Lordship Justice M.M. Sundaresh to deliver the inaugural and presidential address. Dignities of the dais, my dear friends, a very good, e good evening to every one of you. There are two reasons why I am before you today. First is my desire to see all the lawyers not in the court, but outside the court, those with the same premise. There is one more reason. When I told my son that Dr. Sijit is coming, he told me, you better don't talk anything about jurisprudence. I told my son I am not supposed to speak. I am just supposed to do my role and he is going to be the speaker. Then he told me, Dad, you better listen to him. He is one of the best teachers we have ever had in our college. This is a fact, in fact, he told me. Therefore, I thought I should have the pleasure of listening to him. Only yesterday I was told by the invitees about the topic, the role of the critic from classroom to courtroom. I am not quite sure what Dr. Sijit means by it. Criticism by per se is the best thing that could happen to any institution, be that his family, be that it is society, be that it is, it is our own profession. Where there is no criticism, there will not be any development. Action in criticism starts from by birth. Criticism starts when a father does it to the child, when the child does it to the father. It's a learning process for both. It gets extended to every way, every way of life. I was told Dr. C.G. is an authority in philosophy also. Philosophy as such is immensely responsible for the development of the society through its criticism. Unless there is a concept contrary to the existing one, there cannot be any improvement. Because Marxism has come. We could see the society in a different perspective. It has given us an insight as how how to look at different units of society. Now, Dr. Siddhi is going to speak about criticism from classroom to courtroom. It's a wonderful concept. As the young lady has spoken earlier, I am someone who is involved with the students. If you could uh, 
come and uh, see me in my chambers in Chennai. At least you could see half a dozen students, mostly young girls, young students. I find their knowledge much more than what we had earlier. There is no difficulty about it, you have to appreciate that. But uh, they, their thinking process is unbelievable to say the least. Because they don't have any restriction. Their mind is so, so free. Their ability to get information is so huge. At times I find myself very difficult to answer their questions. This I have found not only from the top, coll top colleges, even from the students from the Dr. Ambedkar Law College I have seen. They are, they are able to think out of box. Is something which is very unique. I always believe a good lawyer is the one who thinks differently. An argumentative person would certainly be a good lawyer. So from that perspective, I think the topic of the day will throw a lot of light as to how we should project in creating good lawyers and judges. We all know how judges, judgment, judges are being criticized. It's a, it's a healthy trend. I all honestly believe that judgment is meant to be criticized. After all, it's an opinion of an individual on an understanding of law. Nobody can deny the fact that it's not only opinion. So the philosophy of an individual gives a result through the result through a judgment rendered by him. Now how far is philosophy is good? What action we can apply is philosophy. These are the matters to be, to be pondered over with. Now, as a student, we have to really encourage an young man or a young girl to criticize. As long as the criticism is not bordering upon the personal character of a person, it's absolutely fine. After all, we all know what had happened in Adium Jalpur. The Supreme Court went on to say, which is a very remarkable observation later on, that the ju judgment is unconstitutional. Such a criticism by the Supreme Court on its own is a good thing. I also believe we are not receptive to criticism. When I say we, I only say about the lawyers and judges together. This mindset has to change. I think we are at a, at a stage, at a crossroad, where we should welcome the changes. We are still having the conservative or colonial mindset. We have to think differently. We have to create more litigation. More litigation which helps the society. It creates a vibrant one. In that way, I am looking forward to the, the lecture to be rendered by Dr. Sejit with this few words. I resume my seat. Thank you. Thank you very much.